So here is, uh, this is the login page and you're going to uh, choose whatever login uh, you, were, you signed up for or you were told to, to uh, log in with. Um, I'll do this one. And the passwords are always A, B, C, D, right, real simple. Um, so you're going to just type in um, your login and your password, A, B, C, D, check. Uh, you don't want to remember the password, but you do have to check, I agree. Uh, and then you're going to hit submit. And don't, don't save the password unless you're on a, a private uh, computer. Um, okay, so what you're going to do when you, when you log in, you're going to see uh, this particular screen. And see if I can make it a little bigger for you. You're going to, um, what you're going to basically do is just click this button here to join a predictive campaign. And there may be other uh, links here uh, to other campaigns. Um, you, you, if there are multiple links here, you'll be told which one to click. Um, so uh, probably they'll just be, uh, just be the one. If there's more than one, you'll be told which one to click. So you'll click this link, uh, and then what you're going to do is um, you're going to uh, dial uh, the number uh, that pops up here. And you're going to, uh, after you dial that number, um, it's going to ask for your ID number and your PIN. So I'll do that right now. So you're going to basically just get out your phone. Right, and um, once you click that link, this is going to pop up. You're going to dial, you're going to get out your phone, and you're going to dial 559-650-0399. And I'll put it on speaker. Hopefully you can hear it. Welcome to the dialer. Enter your agent number. Okay, so it says, welcome to the dialer. Enter your agent number. Uh, so I'm going to enter 3107. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't do it fast enough, so let me go again. Okay, so once you enter your agent number, it'll ask for your PIN. 2950. And it'll say authorizing. Okay, so basically it says I'm connected um, and I'm, they're finding prospects. And so what you can see here is that the, uh, it's dialing a whole bunch of numbers. And as soon as somebody answers, you're going to see a pop-up here. Okay, so I've... I've accidentally connected with a business, and so basically what I'm going to do uh, here is I'm not going to I'm not going to read the questions to the person on the phone, obviously, because it's a business, right? And if you actually get a business that isn't an answering machine, you're going to just say, "Sorry, I got the wrong number." Okay? If it's a person who's willing to do the survey, I mean, you're going to basically just read this script, right? So it's going to be, good morning, my name is Tim Kubel, or your name, right? For one of my classes, we're conducting a short anonymous survey. Um, if they say no, or if you get a business, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here uh, to your uh, disposition page, and you're going to click, um, a, you're going to click wrong number, and then it's going to start over again. Okay, and so you see here, it started dialing again. As soon as I, if I get a real person, I'm going to read the survey to them, and I'm going to come over here to the, this disposition bar, and I'm going to actually click made contact and completed. And that'll tell it to start over again. So basically what is happening here is it's dialing people. As soon as somebody answers, you're going to get that pop-up um, where it says click here for the survey. You're going to click it. Hopefully there'll be somebody who's a live person on the other side. You'll read them the questions. Hopefully they'll agree to do the survey. Um, and then when you're done, whether they agree or not, when, you're, when, when that call has ended, uh, whether it's if it's a business and you said, sorry, I got the wrong number, or if it's a person and they say, I can't take the survey, or if it's a person and they do take the survey, you're always going to come back here and choose one of these dispositions. Okay? And you're going you're gonna, to, if you made the contact, you're going to choose completed, 
If they say, hey, somebody was here, if they, if they answer the phone and they're not interested, say, I don't want to do a survey, you can choose uh, not interested. If they say, don't ever call me again, right, you can click requested do not call. Um, if there's, if it's a wrong number, such as a business or like the last one, I think I got a, a hospital, right, I'm just going to choose wrong number. Um, if you get a voicemail, you could also choose uh, you could choose voicemail if it's a if it's a person's voicemail. Now you shouldn't really get uh, individuals. Vo you might get voicemails for businesses, but you shouldn't get too many voicemails for businesses. Or I mean, for individuals, uh, it it kind of uh, filters all that out. So you're not gonna you're not gonna hear too many fax machines or answering machines or anything like that. Um, and so you, what you should see is when you're waiting, you should always see this num these numbers. Repopulating. Okay, so I got. I'm getting a call. I'm going to click here for survey. Good morning, Tucker Chula. This is Debbie. Can I help you? Hi. Is this a business? Yes, it is. All right. I'm sorry. I have the wrong number. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now that's exactly what you're going to do. Now you notice I did not hang up my phone, and I can click here for cancel under under the script. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click. Wrong number. Prospect. And you notice here it said finding prospect. So it starts all over again. Okay? And so this is how the process works. It's just, it's really repetitive. You might not actually even get a person answer the whole time. Uh, it really just depends. Uh, if you want the best. Uh, you want the best shot of actually talking to people, uh, do it between 5 and 8 p.m. Right, when people are actually home. Uh, for the most part, when you call during the day, it's harder to find people. Right? And so it's okay. As right? long as you do your two hours, it doesn't make any difference if, if you complete a, a survey or not. You just gotta, you got to be here on here for two hours and dialing. As um, long as you do that, then fine. Hopefully, you'll get some people who will agree. Okay? When you're done, at the end of your hour, uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to, you're just going to hang up your phone and you're going to uh, log out uh, here at the top.